mentioning that they were formed in the 80s. And um, this young organization is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. Um, it's young on the global scene, but it's really senior on the local level because in 1991, environment was not an issue that was on the agenda, neither was it, this was a popular terminology discussed in, 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 in any forum or a daily uh, topic. Um, so we are very uh, honored and delighted and privileged to be celebrating our 20th anniversary this year. It's a group that was formed by 12 like-minded people from different nationalities who lived in the UAE. I, I have the honor to be one of those 20. And we came together um, to do right by the environment and um, through education, and that is the question that was raised um, a while ago about the importance of education. So that is really the backbone of how we function. Um, education, action, program, and community involvement. Um, as an NGO, we are continuously pushing, uh, setting the bar higher, and how do we um, set the trend, and how do we lead from the front, is by setting ourselves as an example. Um, <coughs> Sheikh Aziz mentioned about leading from the front and about being a role model. So for us, it was very important um, to build the credibility within the country and abroad as well. And then after that, we went for accreditation and membership to United Nations Environment Program, to United Nations Convention to convert the certification issues that are related and pertinent to the environmental scenario in the country. And um, we have become members of the International Union for Conservation of Nature. And of course, we act as a focal point and we host the regional network of the UN Global Compact for the GCC states. <coughs> we believe as well, I think most, I think all NGOs know this as a fact, that one hand cannot clap, that for us to achieve and to be successful and to be effective, we have to work together. Um, this is still a challenge on the ground. Um, for the private sector to have faith in the local NGOs and to support local NGOs. Um, I know we talk about social media, I know we talk about different, but how effective, how much do we have the political power and how aligned is the media to all these issues? How can we take this out of the political arena and really bring it out as a human, as a human issue? A survival issue that and raise the alarm on it. These are still issues that are challenges that I'm sure all the NGOs face again. Bringing it down now to the issue of waste in the GCC countries. It's become like you know a cliche, whatever we said, we say, oh GCC countries produce a lot of waste. Um, and nobody seemed to feel embarrassed by it or Anything to that effect, you know, as if it is a normal thing and people go about the business as usual. But really, it is an unfortunate and a sad story that GCC countries produce 80 million tons of waste every year, and the numbers show you there. And when you compare the six countries, UAE is the second. Uh, so, this is not something that should be taken lightly. Um, this is not something really that should not have an active and effective. In the morning, one of my colleagues was asking, where is the role of the universities and colleges? Why are they not invited? I do not think it's only the invitation that will make a difference. I would like to see universities and colleges really taking a very critical look at the uh, curriculum that is at their hand. And is it really meeting the requirements of this region? and are we really teaching the future generation?